Hey guys, so I'll be showing you how to use the mod for the Wii U that allows game file replacement, known as Caffeine. So this is a pretty useful program that allows you to swap files in the game's ROM, or ISO as some people would call it. So instead of just talking, let's actually get started. So you're going to download this file that I'll have linked in the description, Caffeine 4.1.0 to 5.5.1. So then inside of that, we're going to have this. And then I deleted all of the stuff that we're not going to need because that just makes less clutter. We're only going to need this folder. So if you want to delete the other two, you can do that as well. So you're going to go inside the server folder then. And then we can also delete this source folder. And so now we just have three files. So this is the server that actually connects to the Wii U. It sends the files and stuff. This just logs all of the data and stuff. I'll just show you a log real quick. So yeah, it doesn't do much other than just show when a file is being replaced, show what files are being loaded at what times and stuff. So yeah. And this is where the game files actually go. So for example, um, this is uh, another game. You're going to have a vol folder a content folder and then this is where the actual data goes. So for this I'm just going to be doing a quick re um, KCL swap for Mario Kart 8. This is my last video I, sh I showed a basic KCL swap so I'll be showing you how to do that and stuff. So you need to get your Wii U's title ID or your game's title ID I mean and that'll be over here. So let's just search for our game. I'm Mario Kart 8 and we're going to just follow this over with USA and I'm still following it and here is our title ID so I'm gonna copy this and I just got notepad open right here and I'm gonna paste it here and we need to split it into two parts each of them will have eight characters in it so that's right here you see one two three four five six seven eight and then one two three four five six seven eight so copy this, and you can delete them off of your notepad if you want to. And then you're going to go back to the caffeine route and create a new folder and paste it in here. So this will be the name of it. I've already got mine, but so yeah. Then inside that, you're going to create a folder and call it vol, as I did. Then make a new one and call it content, as I did already. And this is where the actual game mods will go. So, I, as you probably notice, I had sorry about that. I had two windows open because I'm this involves moving files and stuff, and that'll be a lot quicker to have two windows open. So here is my Mario Kart 8 um, game files and stuff. So this will so these will go directly inside of inside of here if we wanted to move them. So, I'm going to do some course swaps, so that means that I'm going to need to use this course folder. But instead of copying all of the unchanged files over, I'm just going to create a new folder and call it course. So then we can go inside that just to keep these two like synced up together. And then we've got all of these. So let's do a Mario Kart Stadium KCL swap. So... The file name is GU First Course, or Circuit, I mean. So I'm going to copy this file name, and I'm just going to create a new folder and call it that. So if you haven't noticed by now, the folder structure needs to be completely emulated. It needs to be exactly the same, or else it won't work. So let's go inside of here, and inside of here. And then you'll see a course.kcl file. So this would be the normal KCL file for Mario, for Mario Kart Stadium. So let's just replace it with um, uh, Cloud Cloud Circuit, I think it is. Yeah, I don't play Mario Kart 8 that much. So I'm going to copy this course's KCL into here. So now, so pretty much when we load Mario Kart Stadium, it should load the Cloud Circuit KCL. So everything will be, like, like, what you'll be able to drive on will be completely different and stuff. And it'll probably just make you fall through the ground. 
So, um, yeah, I'm going to close out of this for now, and we can just extend this all the way. Let me just get out my video program so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, there we go. So now we're ready for this. But before we get off of our computer, we're going to need to get our computer's IP address. This is our private one, not our public one, so, like, don't be afraid to, like, t sh tell anyone this. So you're going to open CMD, just type CMD into the Windows search bar, and then this will come up. And then we're going to type IP config. But for some reason, my registry is messed up, so it'll say that this isn't a valid command. So I have to type c colon slash windows slash system 32 slash ip config dot exe. But you probably won't have to type this. But I do, because my, cause my computer is fucked up. So, next we're going to mark this ipv4 address. So... Here is mine. It is not the same as the default gateway as some people think. So I'm going to copy this by pressing the enter button on my keyboard. Control C does not work in command prompt. But yeah, so then I'm just going to paste it in here. And I'm just going to like keep this here for safekeeping. Because I'm going to need it later when I'm on my Wii U. So we can close out of CMD. And we're mostly done with the part on the on our PC because we have our content inside of the content folder and we have everything set up just fine so yeah I'll meet you on my Wii U okay so I just turned my Wii U on and I'm going to start the internet browser so once this loads we're going to clear our cookies by going back to the home page and then clicking settings and delete cookies and now we're going to go back and we're going to go to a website called loading.ovh so l-o-a-d-i-i-n-e dot o-v-h and that looks good so we're going to hit OK and we're going to select our program we're going to do caffeine plus kernel and we're going to hit submit so it'll say get back into the browser after this is done to run caffeine. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So a fake video will pop up. This will trigger the exploit. And now we're just going to go right back into the internet browser. And it'll automatically boot up the website so we don't even have to click anything. So next, this screen should pop up. So we're going to enter our Wii U's IP, or our PC's IP, I mean. So we can use the D-pad to move and go up and down and stuff. So this was mine. So we're going to press A to install Caffeine now. And now we're going to hit the Wii U menu button. And on our computer, we're going to start the Caffeine server.exe program. So let me just pull that up real quick. Okay, so I'll just show you running it real quick. So then this will pop up. So we're going to start our game. So I'm going to be doing Mario Kart 8 for this example, as I said. So let's start Mario Kart 8. And on a computer, it should look like this. It should have a bunch of files coming down that it's currently loading. Mario Kart! Hey! So now we're gonna start the we're gonna start our game. And I'm just gonna turn off the volume so I don't get a copyright infringement. And we're going to go into Mario Kart Stadium because that's the that's where we replace the KCL file. So solo race and okay. 
So I'll just pause the video until it's done loading because it generally takes a little while. Okay, so as you can see, it's automatically respawning me. This is because the KCL file doesn't know where to drive on. So, yeah, this is a... Uh, this is just pretty much having no KCL because it's probably in a completely different location. So yeah, um, that shows that the game file is actually replaced. The log is somewhere on here, but it's not showing up at the moment, but yeah. So that's pretty much it. You can do this for any game, it's not just for Mario Kart 8 and for any file. So thank you guys for watching, like, subscribe, comment for new videos, and I'll see you next time.